Good evening, Lego fans. Do not adjust your set before it is halloween -y, and I have dimmed the lights for a more atmospheric theme, as well as adopting this accent. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, I can't really do that for very long, but I thought it, uh, it would at least uh, set the mood here. So yeah, I dimmed the lights a little bit, and I've added these little uh, Christmas light thingies around, uh, just enough to light the Legos uh, and uh, hopefully give a little bit more of a spooky theme. Uh, anyway, uh, today we've got a variety of floats going around my Lego city. Uh, these are from a variety of themes and things that have been on my shelves in the background of my Lego city overview shots. Uh, you might have spotted a few of them actually. Uh, but yeah, so they normally don't fit on my Lego city streets and uh, well, I thought I'd uh, bring them out and let them have a moment uh, moment in the sun. Uh, irony here, because I'm actually filming this at night, uh, hence the uh, moody atmosphere, despite the fact that it's also Halloween. Happy Halloween, by the way. So I'll be going around doing a little snippet of each one of these floats, and uh, vote for your favorite one in the comments, and I will do a more dedicated video of these in the future. Without further ado, let's take a look at how I lit up my set and made it all spooky. As you can see, I've got these craft lights kind of draped all over my Lego city, uh, just kind of delicately placed in between bricks and things, and uh, just kind of strewn up all around. I've actually got two of these just kind of going around each side and then kind of meeting back at the middle. Uh, hey there, Bone Train. <laughs> um, yeah, they're kind of hidden back here behind the uh, the, the French building. Uh, I really forget what this one's called. Uh, but yeah, they've got a variety of different uh, combinations here. Personally, I use the Steady On, although I guess I could use the Twinkle or Flash. Elsewhere in the city, during the costume contest, a spider attack. Ooh. Uh, I love this giant spider just held on to the uh, side of the building there. All while this little dude is trying to shoo away those little minion spiders. Uh, kind of funny. Um, but yeah, so it's being dealt with by this wizard uh, with his lightning bolt, lightning bolt. And this ghost is totally unhelpful. Good job. Oh no, it's Garlact, the destroyer of worlds. He's killed this innocent yellow spaceman. Oh no, who will stop him? He-Man, masters of the universe. Who could be at the top of this bat-themed grand emporium, complete with bats along the edge and the bat signal? Why, man-bat, of course. I bet you didn't see that coming. <laughs> okay, seriously, though. Over here, next to these other bats, is the Bat-Lord. <laughs> yeah, no Batman here, just a lot of bats and bat-themed guys. Over on the other side of town, near the Lego Land and Lego Store, is the costume contest, as mentioned before. Hmm, that rhymed. Looks like we have a tie for first place between the two Spider-Man, who can't seem to figure out who the prize goes to properly. Hopefully they'll figure it out. And the second place prize goes to Mr. Skeleton. Hopefully he'll be alright. Thank you for all the other contestants for your entries and your fine costumes. Hopefully uh, they're better luck next time. And without further ado, let's move on to the parade. Up first, perhaps it's pride, but it's my own posse of favorite minifigures and adventurers and things. You got a chef, you got a spaceman, you got a guy in a giant elephant, and you have Sir Guy, the random adventurer of old. I really love all these guys, and, and they just go on a lot of adventures with me, uh, even at my <clears throat> young age of 31. <clears throat> anyway, uh, let's uh, move on. <laughs> As a Spongebob fan and a Lego fan, this one's a no-brainer. So here we go. Here's Spongebob, Patrick, and Mr. Krabs all crammed into a hamburger car, uh, but having a grand old time. And I just love the uh, humor here. It's just too irresistible. <laughs> while these guys have been on my Lego city for quite a while, uh, they decided to be in the parade by themselves. Uh, these are the COVID twins, and uh, they spell doom for us all, trying to uh, hoard up all the toilet paper and protect it with their lives. That's not cool, guys. Want to play a game? Sure. Straight from the Netflix hit, the Squid Game, uh, complete with the little square uh, game in the background. These guys are my new favorite custom minifigures. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Brick. Uh, so here we go. Here's a bunch of uh, random movie-themed and video game and, I guess, TV show figures. Uh, you have the Wizard of Oz, then you have a couple of video game characters in the middle. Uh, shout out to anyone who can name them, as well as Mystery Science Theater in the very background. Uh, perhaps I'll do a video on them later on. 
Technically, I've already done the Hypnocruiser and all the other Time Cruiser sets, but uh, I wouldn't mind doing an updated version of those videos, uh, by, because by far this is one of my favorite themes, uh, if you couldn't tell. And this is one of my favorite cars, so it's a win-win, you know? Ah, the Twisted Time Train. Three cars, three times the insanity, complete with ghosts, skeletons, and flames. Ah, what kid can say no to that? Uh, I've already done a video on this in the Time Cruisers playlist. Please go check it out. Uh, but yeah, this thing is just so much fun. Uh, I could barely fit it on the streets, in fact. <laughs> Speaking of not being able to fit on the streets, here's the Whirling Time Warper, complete with its flapping wings that hit pedestrians upside the head. That's the one reason why I can't fit on the city streets. But you know what? It's festival time, and I uh, just thought I'd bring it out for good old time. Uh, business Ghost is uh, having too much fun there, I guess. And here come the knights. So here we have a couple of retro figures, uh, the treasure cart polybag and the wizard cart polybag, uh, as well as the bat lord and his bat glory upon his bat steed, which is actually a dragon. But yeah, good fun, good fun. In procession, we have Knights of the Cosmos, the LARPing team that seems to do their battles on top of my movie theater, uh, because there's a garden up there for no apparent reason other than the fact that... Uh, yeah, I can't put anything else up there. So yeah, I promised to do a video on these guys a long time ago, and I still haven't gotten around to it, so yeah, uh, they're still my favorites, even if they're not featured often. I make way for the king and his procession of knights. All the way from the castle to the top of my shelves is this king and his fine knights of the square table. Uh, yeah, so I really like this king, and uh, he's really long overdue for his tour of Brickton, and I'm glad he could uh, join us in this parade. Gandalf makes his appearance along with Gimli, Aragorn, and I think that's Pippin. Uh, he's a hobbit nonetheless, and he's in the back and scared out of his pants, as like all hobbits should be. You can't have good without evil, so here's Sauron, my custom figure, and the Nexo Knight uh, imp figures, I guess, as well as a skeleton army in the back, uh, complete with a skeleton catapult or something. I really like those guys in the back there. They're just so happy, uh, even though they're dead. <laughs> Anyway, these guys are my favorite figures, and uh, they're just kind of a hodgepodge of evil from a variety of themes. Who knew? As a Classic Space fan, I couldn't resist making my own Classic Space one-man vehicle. So here we go. It's blue, white, and all Classic Space. I really love space. So here's a bunch of figures from a variety of space themes. Uh, Blacktron, Mtron, uh, Space Police, a couple of the modern different themes. Uh, so if you vote for this one, you will be voting for uh, just a random uh, space theme set that I have that I just can't fit on the city streets. I will be doing a video on this later on, uh, so the less I say about it now, the better. But needless to say, this is a air tank refill vehicle um, all the way from 1987, I think. Uh, but yeah, I'll be doing a proper review on this later on. So here we have a bunch of uh, Star Wars figures, pretty much uh, the only figures I have. Uh, they usually hang around either in the movie theater or just up on my shelves. I don't really have uh, much of a place for them either way. Uh, but yeah, I did make the uh, blue Mandalorian in the background a little blue car, so maybe he'll be around in my city later on. Uh, but yeah, they're uh, a little bit of fun. Uh, I don't have very many Star Wars figures or things. Uh, but yeah, vote for this one and I will try to dig something out. Maybe an old A-Wing or, or something fun. Up next is one of my favorite mocks of all time, the Tractor. And it's a hayride now. Uh, just sort of having fun, driving around the city and uh, just, you know, spreading around uh, holiday-themed fun. Perhaps a little bit out of season, but Merry Christmas. Uh, here we have the Christmas World War One figures that I featured in my mock uh, a little bit a while ago, uh, appropriately last year around Christmas time. Uh, but yeah, so these guys are one of my favorite little mocks, um, and I just wanted to get them out, get the dust off, and uh, get them ready for the upcoming season, because uh, it's just right around the corner, you know? Paddling his way down the street somehow is King Kalua and his Islanders. Um, I really enjoy these figures. They're just so happy, and just uh, every set that they're in, they've portrayed this kind of uh, upbeat nature of just kind of hanging around on an island and uh, messing with pirates. Because, you know, who else is going to mess with them? <laughs> sort of a short lived subset of the Western theme, we have the Indians um, and just a few of their painted horses. I don't have very many of these figures, but. They have a certain sense of charm to them, kind of a 
historical nature. Um, also, they have noses, which are kind of weird. Hey, Willers, Batman, we are surrounded by random figures from the MCU universe. Gosh. <clears throat> so, yes, here's a bunch of random figures from the U MCU universe. That say that three times fast. Uh, you got Iron Man, you got two uh, Aquaman, you got Thor, Superman, and uh, Batman. So, yeah, just a uh, just a random collection of superheroes here. Na 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 na, Batman, 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 and Catman. And there we go, folks. There's the Halloween parade. Hopefully, you enjoyed yourself. Please leave a like and subscribe, and vote for your favorite floats. Until next time, bye. Oh, also, did anyone uh, see how many ghosts there were in the city? Yes, these ghosts, the glow-in-the-dark ones. Uh, let me just turn on the lights real quick, and we'll have a look. If you guessed seven, you're correct.